join Carol Davies on Global Voice Radio, the host of Only the Best for You. Be a change maker and unlock the secret to your best life. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Global Voice Radio Show, Only the Best for You, here on the Global Voice Radio Network. My name is Carol Davies of the Passion Motivator Coaching Company. I'm so pleased to share with you the best information and speakers about how you can be a change maker to make the world and yourself the best you can be. Today, I'm reporting to you on a topic that has long intrigued me. How to release the past and embrace the future. To release the past and embrace the future is such an important topic. So what do we mean by this exactly? I like to call it letting go to get going. Here's a story that outlines this. Two monks were on a pilgrimage. One day, they came to a deep river. At the edge of the river, A young woman sat weeping because she was afraid to cross the river without help. She begged the two monks to help her. The younger monk turned his back. The members of their order were forbidden to touch a woman. But the older monk picked up the woman without a word and carried her across the river. He put her down on the far side and continued on his journey. The younger monk came after him scolding him and berating him for breaking his vows. He went on this way for a long time. Finally, at the end of the day, the older monk turned to the younger one and said, I only carried her across the river. You've been carrying her all day. Now, the simplicity of the story I just related is striking. The negative monk had spent a lot of valuable time through the day, stewing over how the other monk had broken his vow. The negative monk couldn't let the incident go. The first monk was pragmatic. He broke his vow so that he could help someone and then put it behind him. Just because you make a vow doesn't mean you cannot deviate from an idea once in a while. And if you do, it does not make you a bad person. As they say, life happens, and you are better to go with the flow and not stay stuck in the past, wasting valuable time and resources that prevent you going forward into the future. Letting go can be difficult. Letting go of people, ideas, expectations, desires. Letting go of bad habits, false beliefs, and unhealthy relationships. The list can go on. Every day, every moment, presents an opportunity to create ourselves anew, to shrug off the baggage of the past, open ourselves up to the possibility of the moment, and take action to create an incredible future. Although we can understand this intellectually, Knowing it and living it are two very different things. It's so easy to fall into that trap where all you do is complain about all the horrible things that happened. And yes, we have to talk about those things because we have to embrace our truth and go through our story to make sense of it. But if you get stuck in that place, then you can get bitter. When you really need to hear your inner self, you hear the answers you need. I'd like to talk a little bit about a technique I use with my clients quite a bit. It's called the emotional pain release technique. For many years, releasing or the pain release technique has proven to be a powerful, unique, simple, and very practical tour tool that will dramatically improve the quality of your life. It is an intriguing discovery that allows you to simply let go 
of any negative thoughts in seconds. This innovative emotional release technique will teach you step by step how to eliminate any and all negativity on the spot, leaving you in a powerfully positive position to create only the good things in life that you desire. Life doesn't have to be a struggle. Now, have you experienced any of these situations? Constant money worries, health problems, guilt feelings, fear, procrastination, inability to speak up for yourself, marital problems, confusion about your life, vitality, happiness? If so, please listen, because there's a way you can easily turn your life around. You will discover your natural ability to handle whatever life throws at you. Years ago, the only way to release painful feelings and emotions was through counseling or psychotherapy. It's now scientifically proven that suppressed emotions have a negative impact on your health in many ways. Stress, high blood pressure, low self-esteem, depression, all can result from unexpressed feelings. Fortunately, there are more effective methods emerging to work through these suppressed feelings that can bring instant results. The technique I'm talking about today, releasing, gives you a powerful, unique, and very practical tool that will dramatically improve the quality and effectiveness of your life no matter what you believe your life should hold. With it, you could achieve financial freedom. You can have more life in all your relationships. You can have wonderful health and wellness. You can learn about attacking anxiety and depression on the spot. You can eliminate your stress at its root. You can go beyond anger management. You can lose weight, quit smoking, and drop other addictions and bad habits. You can also find lasting inner peace, joy, and love. You can get rid of everything that hurts, all your fears, all your burdens, all your disappointments. And when you get rid of enough of them, you'll find yourself, as others have, happy, peaceful, and capable of doing whatever you want regardless of your situation or circumstances. In fact, what the use of this ability can do for you is totally unlimited. It can be applied to any problem and every situation. It truly gives you the one single solution you've been searching for. You have no limits except those you hold on to in your mind. And you will, when you let go of these limits, you can have, do, or be whatever you desire. You know from your own experience that when too many negative feelings build up in you, you feel anxious, uncomfortable, and unhappy. The first thing you'll try to do is to get away from them. You'll do this by suppressing them. Hiding them from yourself is the worst thing you can do. Coping with them trying to escape their effects by various means, or by venting them. Handling your feelings in any of these ways won't give you what you want. You will remain trapped, unhappy, and limited because the negative effects of your feelings are still in you, building up inside and hurting you by destroying your health and keeping you from your happiness, even though you may not be aware of them. What you really want and need is what you've lost sight of. That is, you already have the ability to completely discharge your negative feelings and regain your energy, your passion, and your power. This is the only way to health, happiness, peace, and the successful life you've been longing for. Emotional pain is the foundation of all negative or destructive behavior. 
to summarize, negative events create emotional pain. Emotional pain drives the creation of negative belief and feelings. Emotional pain creates negative and destructive behavior. When the pain is released, feelings and behavior change. So, how do we do the pain release technique? The pain release technique uses a breathing or visualization technique. During this process, think of the pain as an actual physical substance that you are removing from your body. When breathing the pain out, visualize the pain as a thick fog that slowly moves out the pores of your skin. Alternatively, if pain is a sound for you, hear the pain as a sound that disappears as you breathe through it. Whether you use a visual or auditory mode of identifying the pain, it's very important to think of the pain as an actual substance that you're releasing from your body. The more intensely you can visualize this process, the more complete the pain relief will be. Once you learn and see how effective the technique is, you may be tempted to use it on too many different memories immediately. This is not a good idea. Please limit yourself to two different memories a day. Because of the profound change that can occur, too much change can result in intense anxiety. That anxiety is the result of too much change too quickly. Now, to begin the pain release technique, start with some event that you can clearly identify as emotionally painful. Then identify the painful feeling you are experiencing, for example, shame, guilt, humiliation, embarrassment, loss. Now you're ready to begin the releasing process. The pain release technique releases the emotional pain associated with painful memories. This technique is easy to do and you can do it on your own for a variety of painful memories. Here's how we can go through it. Close your eyes and sit comfortably, legs uncrossed. Now, identify the painful memory. Feel the emotional pain of that memory. On a zero to 10 scale, how intense is the pain? What color or sound is the pain? Where is the color or sound of the pain located in the body? Take your time to just feel this. Especially when you're doing this for the first time, it might feel a little strange. Now, take a deep, slow breath and imagine that the breath is going into the pain of the color. Visualize breathing into where that color or sound or pain is in the body. Visualize the pain coming out of your body. Start with where the pain is located, coming directly through the skin like a thick fog or stream. The out-breath should be very slow. Take a deep, slow breath and imagine that the breath is going into the pain or color or sound. Breathe out very slowly. Imagine that the pain, color, or sound is slowly moving out of your body through the pores of your skin. Think of it as a thick fog emerging out of your body. Do this visualization at least three times. Mm -hmm. 
breathe the pain, color or sound, out of different areas of the body. Start with breathing into the middle of the brain and breathing out the center of the forehead. Do this three times. Breathe into the middle of the brain and then breathe flow the color pain out of your eyes. Do this three times. Breathe into your chest and breathe or flow the color or pain or sound down the arms and out the palms. Do this three times. Breathe into your abdomen and breathe, flow the color, pain or sound down your legs and out the bottoms of your feet. Do this three times. Breathe into your abdomen and breathe, flow the color, pain or sound out of your navel area. Do this three times. Scan your body to see if there's any pain, color, or sound left in your body. If there is, breathe into that part of your body and then breathe the pain, color, or sound out of the pores of your skin in that area. Reevaluate by asking if there is any pain, color, or sound left in the body. If there is, do the breathing and breathe or flow out that part of the body and do it three times. Now, reevaluate the pain of the memory. Does it still feel charged when you think of the event again? On a zero to 10 scale, how painful is the memory? Zero being very little and 10 meaning very, very high. When the report is that there is nothing left, reevaluate the event. Remember the event. Does the event still feel charged? If there is any guilt, shame, or anxiety related to that event, then there is more feeling to be processed. A reaction of sadness, grief, or regret means that the pain has been released. If the sadness, grief, or regret is causing more pain, repeat the pain release technique on that feeling. Now, how do we identify emotional pain? Identifying your emotional pain is sometimes obvious, such as when you feel rejected or someone says something hurtful to you or you experience a significant loss. The pain that underlies other reactions may not be so obvious. Feelings of being overwhelmed or anxiety about doing things indicate that emotional pain is present. An overly intense, angry reaction to a situation can also indicate that you feel hurt or pain and you use anger to overcome the hurt. Obsessively thinking about how you could have changed the outcome of the situation also indicates an underlying pain. In this case, you are trying to avoid pain by altering the situation. To summarize, there is an underlying pain when remembering an event causes emotional pain, you feel overwhelmed or anxious, you have an overly intense angry reaction, when you're constantly thinking about what you could have done differently to change the outcome of the situation, when you are procrastinating, when you feel guilt or shame. So how do we release the pain or what is underlying the feeling of being overwhelmed or the anxiety of doing something? 
when people feel overwhelmed or anxiety about things they have to do, they often do some form of hiding behavior, such as watching TV, drinking, eating, or working. However, the feeling of being overwhelmed or anxiety about doing things is never the result of what is happening. What we have to do or any activities we have to do. Rather, we feel overwhelmed or anxious because of the thoughts we say to ourselves. Thoughts such as, I can't do all this, trigger other negative thoughts and feelings such as, I'm going to fail, which in turn creates emotional pain. For example, I often felt overwhelmed at work because I felt like I had too many things to do. The negative belief was being triggered was, I can't. Underlying that belief was the belief, I'm going to fail. Now, releasing the pain of I'm going to fail helps clear the feeling of being overwhelmed. So here are the steps for processing the pain underlying the feeling of being overwhelmed or anxious about having to do things. First, when you feel overwhelmed or anxious, ask yourself, what am I saying to myself? Common thoughts are, it's too much. I can't handle it. Nothing I do matters anyways. Next, what is the consequence of the thought? For example, if it's too much, then I'm going to fail. Or if I can't handle it, no one will love me. Now, take the time to feel the pain of that thought. Really feel where it is in your body. Now, do the pain release technique that I described before. It is quite simple to do. And the more you practice it, the more things that will be released out of uh, your past that are negative and holding you back. However, it is possible that there are other ways that you want to let go of the past. The pain release technique is one of them. But here are 10 other ideas for letting go to get going. One, meditate. Find stillness, breathe. Meditation is action. Our mind is much harder to still than our body. Our lives are busy and fast paced, filled with external noise and distractions. Clarity comes from quiet. Meditation, even in small amounts, will make room for the next nine steps. Two, understand. Take time to reflect on your own history as a third party looking in without judgment. Simply observe. Understand that you are not your past. Understand that the situations and patterns and people in your life created your experiences. They didn't create you. Knowing and understanding your past and some of your patterns will help you to recognize why you hold on and repeat self-destructive behaviors. Understanding creates awareness and awareness helps you break the cycle. Three, accept. Accept your history and the people that have been a part of your history. Accept your circumstances and remember that none of these define you. Acceptance is the first step to letting go and setting yourself free. Learn from the monk in the story that I told in the beginning. Carrying bitterness, anger, or animosity burdens no one but you. Four, empty your cup. 
consciously and actively work at letting go of your story, your judgments and ideals, and the material things, all your stuff, they have no real value. They do not make you stronger, healthier, or more powerful. And belief in them is a delusion. Pour out your expectations of how, who, where, and what you should be, as they too are part of a story that holds you back from simply being. Once you let go of this story and empty your cup, your life purpose will open up and flow. Five, align. Take a moment or several, you're worth the time, to write down the following your core beliefs or values, your life goals, the actions that you are taking to pursue these goals. Now take an honest look at your core beliefs and values and determine whether or not they align with your goals and actions. If not, ask yourself, is it time to create new core beliefs, set new goals, or take new action? What actions must you take to align your actions with your beliefs in order to attain your goals? Write down three actions you will take this week to get yourself moving. Six, flex. It may seem paradoxical to detach from outcomes, yet set goals and work toward them. But if you are flexible, that is, willing to let go of the end result, aligning your goals and true purpose with the greater good is righteous action. Be flexible. Allow the path to unfold as it will, opening up to the opportunities. Flex and flow with the current of life. Seven, contribute. When you find yourself lamenting about your past or angry about your present or brooding about your future, find a way to making someone's day better. Offering a smile to someone as you pass, opening a door, putting a bit of extra change in the parking meter, dropping off some food for the food bank, these simple actions can have lasting impact and help you put your situation into perspective. Contributing to the well-being of others is the best way to align with your true self. Believe in yourself. Believe in your purpose. Believe that the universe is unfolding as it should and that you have a divine role to play. Believe that holding on does not, does nothing in fact, but hold you back from that purpose. Nine, love the process. Have fun. Be playful, cheerful, and positive. Give power to positivity. Love yourself, love others, and love this life. It is a gift to unwrap each and every day, to gaze upon with new and excited eyes. Ten, be grateful. Be true. Once you have taken all of these actions, just be. Here's to letting go of the past and embracing the future. I truly hope that you will find some great takeaways from my musings today. If you want further information about the emotional release technique or want to talk about more ideas with me, contact me through my website, www.thepassionmotivator.com or by email at coachcaroldavies at gmail.com. I'd love to hear from you. Remember, you can change your life at any time and become the success you want to be. Bye now. Tune in every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern for only the best for you with Carol Davies on Global Voice Radio.